for those of you that don't know me, I am a 25 year old vet student and I'm about to graduate from vet school in like two months and I have now been zero waste for 30 days. For example, bread and berries. It's February now, so I can't go pick berries and I can't even buy them frozen because even in the frozen section they come in plastic packaging. So I have not been able to have any berries this month and it's been fine. I did find a solution to the bread though. So I found a recipe online and decided to make my own bread, which turned out really well. I love that recipe, I'll link it below, but I usually, I'm used to having store-bought bread that lasts like two weeks, okay? No problem with mold or anything. My homemade bread lasted about four days before this happened. <laughs> Isn't that disgusting? Ugh, it's like fuzzy. It's gross. <laughs> Disgusting. So, at least that'll just break down in my compost pile naturally. It won't just totally go to waste, but that was like half of my loaf of bread. So I thought to myself, why don't I just freeze it? Can I just freeze half the loaf at the beginning of the week? And turns out you totally can, and that's totally a thing for homemade bread maker people. So I'm gonna try that this week and hope that it just solves my problem and I won't be needing to make homemade bread every three to four days. <laughs> it would be much easier to be zero waste in the summer. There are so many more fruits and vegetables that are just in season and available at the farmer's market. So I think that the way that I'm gonna solve the berry problem is there's a big berry farm right down the street from us where you can pick your own berries. So I'm gonna pick like thousands of berries and then freeze them for the winter time so that I'll always have them. Teddy, come here! Come here! The next thing that I learned, <laughs> she hates this, is that it's really difficult to have zero waste pets. Are you mad at me? <gasps> Why aren't the animals just cooperating? Why won't they just cooperate today? So I've switched my beagle to Purina food. Can you just look at the camera? Huh? That's a good girl. You just want me to let you go now? Huh? They hate me today. So I researched dog food and cat food for hours. I'm serious, I probably spent several hours looking for a product that didn't come in plastic and I couldn't find one. So I, I did find some bulk food stores in like big cities will sell dog food in bulk, but there was no place anywhere near here that did that. So, um, Purina was having a recycle challenge at our vet school, so I talked to one of the Purina vets in my class and I asked him like, is it just a challenge to see how many people will just recycle it and then it goes into single stream recycling and then it's not actually recycled because 91% of plastic isn't actually recycled. And she said no actually, they have a company up in New Jersey that takes all of the old food bags and recycles them into park benches and beach chairs and stuff like that. So it actually is being recycled for sure. So I'm switching all of our animals to Purina foods, except for Gary, because, you know, Gary eats fresh fruits and vegetables and raw chicken. Um, so I didn't find a plastic free solution to that yet. I. I don't know how I could have a completely zero waste pet without doing a homemade diet, which even as a veterinarian, I don't feel comfortable doing. I'm just gonna switch over to Purina and that's the best solution that I can come up with so far. You better not be rolling in poop.
So, the next thing that I learned is that the cosmetics industry is the most difficult to cut waste out of. Everything is in plastic. I have a mascara that I really like and I can't find anything like it that's not in plastic. So all I ask is that the cosmetics industry tr tries to make an effort to have less plastic. Because I feel like it's not that difficult to just put mascara in metal tubes that are recyclable. I don't understand how that's difficult. I also realized that it's really difficult to go anywhere to eat when you're zero waste. Like Danny and I like to go to Metza or Chipotle or Panera, like places that don't have waiters and waitresses so that saves us a little bit of money. But it's hard to find a place that doesn't have like a plastic to go container when you order from those kind of, kind of places. So Danny and I went out to eat once this month. So Danny has finally returned home to Blacksburg. And we are going to our favorite restaurant, Metza. And it's one of those restaurants, it's not like there's no waiters or anything, and they just have um, a disposable, compostable bowl. But the lids are plastic and they're like silverware is plastic. So, and their cups are plastic. So I brought my own water bottle and our own silverware. And we're, are you making fun of me? And we're saving the planet. Okay? I cannot believe you. While I wasn't looking, the guy was packing up all of our bowls at Metza and he put a plastic lid on Danny's bowl. And I said, oh no, no, we don't need that. And then he looked at me real funny, like, it's already got all your dressing on it because I already put it on his bowl. And that's so sad. So sad. <laughs> Another awesome lesson that I learned is that my grocery bill went down. It went down by like almost 40% because I'm not buying a bunch of replacement proteins because I do usually like to indulge in like vegan burgers and vegan sausage and tofu and everything. Although I did find bulk tofu that I was able to buy towards the end of the month. But really, my groceries every month were a bunch of produce. I'd buy greens and squash and oranges and apples and I've been eating more whole foods. And I'm, you know, I don't think my diet before this was unhealthy by any means. Um, but being forced to be zero waste has forced me to only buy produce pretty much and beans and then go to Eats, my natural whole food store and fill up a bunch of jars with like dried beans for my protein and um, raw nuts. So I've been eating really healthy. I felt really good and my grocery bill has dropped considerably. I used to spend $60 a week and now I'm averaging about 40 to $42 per week. All right, so here is all the waste that I produced this month. I'm so excited. Now I've seen another YouTuber who produced this much waste in a year. I aspire to be that good, but I'm going to celebrate the fact that this is all the waste that I created. First, is my flosser. I have, I still have two bags of these from like two years ago when I bought a whole bunch and I didn't really, I floss like maybe once every two weeks or something. And so now I floss every day, but, and so I was worried like, oh my gosh, how am I gonna make this work? But this lasted me 30 days. So now I know that I can make my two bags of flossers last even longer until I find, you know, a completely zero waste solution and I can use them for 30 days. They're start, it's starting to fringe. I don't know, you probably, it probably won't pick up on that. Probably won't. 
but um so it's definitely getting a lot weaker now but you can use these for 30 days guys it's not even that gross <laughs> these right here are all the ties or rubber bands that went around my greens so all my produce like kale and spinach and collard greens and everything so i used to buy a big plastic box of greens every week and so this is a lot less but they still like these twist ties i can't compost the rubber bands i can't compost all of these are truly trash so until i can go to the farmer's market and buy them truly without any waste i'm happy with this because this is a huge improvement on what i'm used to buying this is the plastic that um my valentine's gift came in danny ordered me a beautiful gourmet chocolate bar that i absolutely love that was from a vegan eco-friendly company and so their whole packaging was zero waste like with compostable styrofoam peanuts packing and everything was cardboard except for this around the chocolate itself so i did count this even though i didn't buy it it was a gift and it was delicious and then this is like a piece of plastic that was around a jar and i didn't realize that a glass jar had plastic i guess i should have seen it because it's black but I didn't realize that the glass jar that I was buying, I forget what it was, like roasted red peppers or something, had plastic on it. So that counted as well. But overall, I'm pretty happy with the amount of waste that I generated. I really enjoyed this challenge this month. I learned a lot. I saved a lot of money. I saved the planet. I'm really happy about it. So I encourage everyone to just try doing some zero waste. You don't even have to go completely zero waste. Just do less waste, less plastic. We don't need a hundred people doing zero waste perfectly. What we need is millions of people doing it imperfectly. Our collective efforts to produce less waste will have the most impact on the environment. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and if you did this challenge with me I hope you enjoyed it and if you didn't I really encourage you to try zero waste and see how it affects your life. See you in my next video!